Welcome back to another NFL video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chargers and why they're kind of an overrated team to some people, some people that think they're serious Super Bowl contenders because of all their talent, and why they're not legit contenders in the AFC or just overall in the league. Now, coming into this year, the Chargers looked on paper like they had one of the most talented rosters in the NFL, and I thought they were going to be dominant. I thought they'd be Super Bowl contenders for sure, just top to bottom. They just looked absolutely loaded. The things have changed a lot and I'm just going to be talking about all of it but first of all one thing that they can't control but has definitely decimated their chances is injuries there's a lot of guys that have been missing time Joey Bosa he's going to be missing a long time JC Jackson their big cornerback free agent signing he wasn't playing as well or up to his contract but now he's not going to be playing at all as he's out for the season stud left tackle R Rashawn Slater he's going to be out for the season which will not help Herbert because Justin Herbert who has been banged up for a while now he injured his rib that Thursday night football game when they were playing the Chiefs he was able to return the next week but just watching Justin Herbert he does not look the same the way they game plan is a lot different it's a lot less throwing downfield maybe some of that was because Keenan Allen was out but it's just a lot more short passes and not what Justin Herbert was doing last season where he was just airing the ball out and I think part of that could be he's still playing banged up but he's playing through it because he's able to tolerate it but he's just not that 100% Justin Herbert that we saw the first couple weeks of the season pre-rib injury. So he's playing. It doesn't look like an injury to the people on the outside, but I do think it's affecting him. And then as far as the wide receivers go, Keenan Allen, he just returned last week. He had a hamstring injury since week one, but right when he comes back, Mike Williams, their big downfield explosive guy, he's going to be out for a while. Brandon Staley said it was weeks, not days, so he's going to be out for a couple weeks. So it's just all over the place there so banged up and then on defense they cannot stop the run to save their life and now they're going to be without JC Jackson they're already without one of their pass wrestlers and Joey Bosa and then as far as coaching you can get into that too even with the team fully healthy there's been a couple times where Brandon Staley has nearly lost the game on him single-handedly that's definitely going to be a topic of debate too because Sean Payton the rumors are swirling as the Chargers losses pile up early in the season that Sean Payton would view the Chargers as a mark key destination to return to the league and return to coaching so let me know your thoughts on this the Chargers were a team I loved going into the season the offense the defense everything they got Khalil Mack to I felt that like that would be a huge addition as well and I think it could be I think they can put things together but as far as the Chargers putting together a playoff run I just don't think they're going to be able to have the pieces to get it done this year let me know your thoughts